hundreds of students stormed the streets of Oweri, the Imo state capital protested a killing of a student identified as Leo. The students, all dressed in black, marched through the major streets and took the protest to the police headquarters in the state, where they registered their grievances. Now we want our rights back. We don't have security in this country. We are quietly securing ourselves and we are still being dealt with by the so-called security people that are claiming their security is a securing life and property. They will take us to an unknown place and they will take our life and still take our money and still take our money. Not for long. At Willowood Hotel, some men stormed the hotel dressed in army personnel uniform, Nanjiang police personnel uniform, civil defense personnel uniform. We took one of our sons and brought us away to an unknown destination at Anambra State, moving across all the police checkpoints without anybody stopping them and them asking, where are you going to? Killed him, took away his phone, and started all his money in the account, stole his car, and now they are telling us that they have recovered the car. We are angry. Why must police focus on both firstly? Taking their phones. They are afraid to invade our, uh, invade our privacy. Why don't they go looking after the criminals and other people? Why are they not coming to the hotel? So why are not in the hotel? So even away. What is this crime? It means that every young person who is successful, who is doing better than them, is a threat to the society. So instead of supporting us and, and working together with us to make the society a better place, they are more concerned about taking from us that are youthful people that are working and earning our money. And we walk about this we scared of who we are. No, there's no security anymore. We can't walk about really without without getting searched or getting questioned. If you, are, if you have an iPhone 11 Pro, you are automatically a suspect. They don't know that we do other things to get money. We are working better than they are working. So we are asking them to secure our lives, not give and take us out, not take our lives. Give us lives, don't take away our lives. Right. But there is a security agent. Well, one. Right. No. One. There is one security agent within them. No police. police, police army. Security agent. I can't stop now. On Friday, we will make, we'll make everything for you. And now the public relations officer, Emo Command, SP Orlando Ikoku, joins us via phone. Thank you, SP Orlando, for joining us this morning on the news. Superintendent Orlando, are you there? Good morning. How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm very fine. I'm very fine. Now, students stormed the streets of Oweri, the Imo State capital, a few days ago, protesting the killing of a student identified as Leo. Please, can you shed more light on what led to the protest? Well, uh, I think it was a bit uh, misinformation. Uh, there was actually a kidnap uh, of one uh, Leo Micah by some uh, gang of uh, kidnappers but unfortunately unfortunately for us and uh, unfortunately for us we were able to make arrest and uh, that led us to the arrest of uh, all the people involved in the crime and they took us to oba at, at an isolated area in oba in anambra state where we recovered the lifeless body, the, deco uh, the decomposing body of uh, the said Leo Mica. Uh, we recovered his phone, two phones, one iPhone and one iPod phone. We also recovered the car. Um, having arrested all those arrests, I think the students, the youth, not just only students, were not aware of what the police were doing because we were there were still some leads we were following so we, then we didn't make it public so they decided to go and protest and when they came to the police headquarters we were able to intimate them of the progress made and uh, they were happy and they left so that was what happened there is actually no cause for alarm all the people who partook in that in that uh, that study has uh, been arrested Arrest has been made. Now, what are your findings so far from the arrest made? Come again. You said arrests have been made. What are the findings based on this arrest that you've made so far? I've, I've already said that. I've already said we, we have recovered his phone. The people arrested took us to where the, the, the decomposing body of the victim, of the deceased person is, and we recovered his car. And I, I went ahead to say we have arrested everybody involved. 
Well, could, could you throw more light on why, why, was this, why was this young man killed? What, did they, did they come to, were confessions made to why he was killed? No, it was, it was man, a mere kidnap incident. There was nothing. They were just, they, they, they were just uh, I think uh, they discovered some money in his account, and they also discovered, based on his phone conversation, I think it has to do with uh, chat, either WhatsApp or Facebook, where they discovered that he was expecting a large sum of money. So they decided to do away with him so that they can they can uh, take hold of all those all those things. His, his car, the money in his account and the ones that are coming. Now the students also accused the police of extrajudicial killing in this case. What's your reaction? Well, I don't, I've never heard of, of, of that. We, the police did not kill anybody. The police did not kill the boy. The police did not kill, it was a mere kidnap incident. Though they claim, there are claims that the people who came and kid, who kidnapped him were, were they, they, they were saying they are mem staff members. But unfortunately, they are, they are not staff members. Uh, we have, we have uh, members of other sister security agencies part of it, but not fully. Thank you for joining us and for your contribution and the light you shared on the story. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.